Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're still with you on this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. And as promised earlier on, as Ramadan comes to an end with just a week, uh, just under a week left before El Aid, uh, we take a look at how Egyptians living overseas and living in foreign countries celebrate Ramadan and experience their Ramadans uh, in their countries. And joining us this morning in the studio to tell us a bit more about this are our guests from the United States of America. We have with us in the studio uh, Rehem Abdullah. Very good morning to you, Rehem. Morning to and you, Abdul Rahman Abdullah. Very good morning to you, Abdul Rahman. Good morning, Rehem and Abdullah. Uh, um, first of all, I would like to ask you the usual question. How long have you been in the States? And uh, uh, why did you, on the first place, decide that, I mean, your family decided to live there uh, forever? I mean, well, I'm not really sure why, like the reason mm -hmm. we've moved there. But we've been living there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we live in Seattle, Washington, and we've been there for 10 years, but I'm not sure why. And earlier before the show, I mean, before we go on air, you were talking with Angie, and you were telling her that there is part, some Egyptian community there, mm -hmm. that you practice uh, uh, the, the yeah, prayers. Yeah, where I live, and there's the a lot of Arabs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where I live, there's like a lot of Assyrian, Libyans, Egyptians, Palestinians, mm -hmm. Jordanians. Mm -hmm. And that's not very... Uh, foreign for you, the whole concept yeah. of getting together and uh, Ramadan and family. Abdul Rahman, could you tell us a bit about your experience of uh, Ramadan? You were just telling me your mom makes all the yeah. traditional desserts at home and... It's a lot of like desserts that you usually eat here on Ramadan and Eid. Mm -hmm. um, we have a mosque next to our house that we go and pray there for the Eid and we do Tawrih and mm -hmm. yeah. And we go uh, eat at the Gamma, me, my dad, and my brother. Nice. But well, before we went on air, I asked you, where is Ramadan better, here or the United States? And you both it, said it's here. here. Yeah. Why is it here? Because there's spirit here. Over there, you'd find like, I don't know, about two houses in the neighborhood that celebrate Ramadan. Like eight. here, you have the gathering, you have the decorations in the street. Yeah. Like, Ramadan here is Christmas over there. Okay. Like, people are. It's like New Year's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are. Festive. Preparing yeah. for it like a month or two months before. Mm -hmm. Like they're going, getting their dates, their mm -hmm. nuts and everything mm -hmm. and getting ready. And like over there, they're like preparing. You can hear the music over there a week or not even a week, like three months before, before. the holiday. Mm -hmm. right. Also, uh, Rehem, let me ask you another question that might uh, cross anybody's uh, mind who is staying in, uh, in, I mean, who lives in Egypt. When you people, you're living in the States and you come over to Egypt, do you really feel that you miss something that you don't see? It? I mean, when you come in over in Ramadan or you come in Eid in Bayram or you come during among those special days, do you have an idea that one day you might be able to uh, uh, have the same thing over in Seattle? Like, what do you mean? I mean, if you, you, for example, came for Ramadan, mm -hmm. do you feel that you miss the same uh, thing in uh, Feeling Seattle? Feeling over there? Yeah? yeah? No. It's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. Have you celebrated Eid here before? Have you been here for the no. feast? I haven't been here for 10 years, oh, so wow. I don't really remember that So this is quite much. an experience yeah. for you. So this is, yeah, this is like a whole new thing. But it's way better than over there. Really? So what do you guys eat there? Is it the traditional, like, for My mom so is totally yeah. Egyptian. She makes she everything. Makes. Really? So, in the, so early in the morning, what time, what, before the Fagr, the early dawn prayers, what do you guys eat? Is there food? The, yeah. yeah, there's food. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. Falafel, there's hummus, there's everything there. Everything is there. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very different culture so shock with the food. But the taste is different here. Like when we came here, the taste of the food was so different than what we're used, like, to. used to over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like way better here. It's is like it 10 better times better. And of course, uh, you have friends there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, your friends, did you try to introduce your part of your culture to them? And they, did they like, I mean, the food, for example? Yeah. My friends and are do, do, did you talk things. to them about Ramadan? Yeah, well, they know. Even the schools know. Like when we have Eid, they know. They okay, give us there's a free a, day off. Yeah, school. that's so, good. Yeah, mm, that's really so it's cool. like not counted against us. They know it's a holiday. All the kids aren't going to be there. Yeah. Like all the Muslim kids aren't going to be. There. So it's like a holiday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's even on the calendars over there, if you like. Mm -hmm. So there is that kind of awareness that this is a Muslim yeah. holiday, mm -hmm. it's a holy month, they can understand. They all understand so for that. example, do you get excuses from sports and stuff like that? Yeah. If yeah. You can't? Okay, cool. So that's really... What time do you break fast? At nine. 
at nine. The sun goes down at nine. Yeah. And it's a long time. do you manage to fast all these hours? Yeah, because yeah. the weather here is different. It's like hotter. So I guess it's harder for us to fast here. Because mm -hmm, it's Yeah, because yeah. over there it's like it could rain one day, be sunny the other. Mm. You don't so it's fair yeah. weather really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're leaving already, you're not going to be here for a no? few days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a pity. But you enjoyed your stay? Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it. It's good. It's but tell me, uh, Abdurrahman, for example, you, Abdurrahman, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay, in school, for, uh, do you think that uh, when you're having your friends in school, uh, sometimes you feel that there is um, some misconceptions about uh, Egypt and the Arabs? and. Do you, do you meet those challenges sometimes when you talk to people, when uh, they talk to you about your country and they know that you are Egyptian? Yeah. Do you feel that you have really to explain a lot about uh, your culture and uh, the, the try to correct their ideas about uh, some like, things that well, the media friend, sometimes might tarnish it? Um, I mean, they already, know, like, they know most of the holidays for... Mm -hmm all the Arabian countries. So, mm. like one day, our, my friend, me and him hung out on Ramadan, mm -hmm. and he was hungry, but I said I was fasting, so he respected that, and he f fasted with me, I guess you can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he didn't eat until I did, because we were hanging out, so mm -hmm. I guess they already, like my most of my friends respect that I'm from Egypt, mm -hmm. and they treat me like, I guess, like, I'm from America, like, I'm a regular, mm -hmm. so, yeah. But there are no misconceptions relating, no, uh, no. regarding Islam, for mm -hmm. example. No. no. Uh, Over there, everyone respects, it doesn't matter what religion you are, they take it as people are people. And what I've noticed, since my mom teaches at a mosque over there on the weekends, mm -hmm. I've noticed that there's more Americans, like, converting to Islam mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so more open to learn about yeah. the religion, even. Yeah. And they're not—they're not really judgmental. Like people think here that, like Americans are, just you know we're Christians. We don't accept other religions, but they actually are open to whatever religion you give them. They understand. They relate to them, mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, yeah, they're, we're all the same. So. So that's actually quite uh, good and refreshing. To, uh, different mm -hmm. perceptions to the mm -hmm. media. Yeah really. And how uh, have you guys been perceived, especially after the 25th of January Revolution? I'm sure you've all been following it on mm. your television on, screens. Yeah. Has there been a change or a, si a shift in uh, perception after the revolution for you? Here? Yes, for you. For me? Mm. Oh, there. Over there. Over there. Mm. No, we just learn about it in class, I guess. Pe like, people there want to get involved. They want to learn about it, see how, why it started, why this happened. And they teach, uh, like when it happened, they taught us about it. They taught the whole school, like the state was learning about it. So mm -hmm. like Washington could be aware of what's happening in other countries in like the Middle East and everything. Mm -hmm. So, but no one had a different, like a different opinion on Egypt or anything. So they thought it was a positive thing, the 25th of January. They thought it was a positive thing that the president shouldn't take over more than 40 years. Yeah. But he took over 40 years, 30. right? Mm -hmm. 30, 30 years. Yeah, he thought, they thought that that was totally wrong. Like we have over there, it's only four years. Mm -hmm. That's the maximum. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can re-elect yourself mm -hmm. over there. So four years was the max. And they thought what he was doing was bad to the country. But I was, I was with it, but at the same time, I really wasn't. Mm -hmm. Like, I was with kicking Mubarak out and everything, mm -hmm. but after you kick them out, don't overdo the revolution. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, they had the revolution going on and on. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of a waste of time in what people think of the country now. Like, I don't think it's safe now after the revolution. Mm -hmm. But before, I thought I would be proud. I'm proud to be an Egyptian. That's, like, that's a fact. Mm. But... It's not, I don't feel safe in my own country. I don't think that's... The security question yeah. is yeah. still there. Yeah, but Rehan, I mean, you are an Egyptian after all. Mm -hmm. You've been living for 10 years in the state, but uh, you, you are an Egyptian. So how did, it, how did you think people could inflict change? I mean, they had to revolt in order to inflict change. If mm -hmm. nothing has changed, then they have to revolt again. Yeah. That doesn't mean that they are threatening the security. In your own perception, how do you view changes? How do you think change is going to uh, prevail 
but they did they did change some mm. stuff I've mm. noticed but it's <coughs> not I guess what they wanted to change that mm. that got changed mm -hmm. so like like after the revolution, I saw people on TV like cleaning the streets. I came here and it was, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like over there, I was like, okay, you know what? They're actually wanting to change something. They're actually coming down the streets. They're gathering. Like the young, the youth are out there cleaning and doing something for their country. Mm -hmm. But when I came, it was it really wasn't what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's getting there from like what I see now with the new president. Mm -hmm. Slow but sure changes, I guess. Yeah. Right, uh, I'm afraid we've run out of time. I'd like to thank uh, my guests this morning, Reham Abdullah and Abdul Rahman Abdullah. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in to the studio. And a very nice happy Ramadan you. to you thank as you. well. <laughs> thank you so much. Right, Adina, I guess with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we wrap up uh, this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, as usual, every Sunday morning in the company of Dina Hussain. Thank you very much, Dina. Thank you, Anish. My and pleasure. Thank you to all our viewers for joining us. And a very good morning. Goodbye.